friend, it's Kelsey Moore here with Be Marvelous You. And if you're noticing my voice sounds maybe a little bit sleepy or scratchy, <laughs> it's because it is. Don't worry, you can't get sick through the camera lens, okay? You're fine. Uh, the hubs and I both have a cold. Um, I lost my voice for a couple of days. We haven't been tested, I don't know. I don't wanna use a kit from somebody who really needs one. Um, so we're just doing extreme isolation where it's full containment. We're not spreading our germs to anybody. We're young and healthy people with really good immune systems who almost never get sick and have all of the immunity boosting things here at home. So we'll be fine. But it did kind of remind me that sometimes when we're going through a massive shift, a change, some sort of uncertainty and a restructuring of what's our normal, before we can necessarily just keep going with our regular routine or dive all in on some uh, growth or using the time to the most productive level that it can be, before we get to that, sometimes we need a rest. Sometimes we need to rest and recuperate and really focus in on taking that time to build in a new restructuring for our new normal routine. And so right now, that's what we're doing. We're taking this week to be really mellow, to just really focus on healing, on joining all of the any sort of um, online global connected meditations and prayers to just spread health and love and light and calmness around this world because we already see everything progressing to uh, like in China all of the statistics are already turning to wellness where everything is starting to get better and clean up and clear up and be okay and we know we're about 10 days behind the process of, of Italy so we know we still have a little bit a little bit more of the challenge to work through here in the United States before we're on the other side of it but it's coming very soon and then when it does we're gonna to wanna to be ready. We're gonna to wanna to be ready for what's that next step? What are we doing in our lives to, uh, to sort of heal from this time, to be able to, to come back from this, from this global tribulation in a way that's gonna feel good, that's gonna be expressive of who we are as people, that's going to you know, have a rebirth of, of creativity and ideas and businesses and, and the blossoming after, after the winter. You know, This is gonna be into a renaissance, into a springtime of, of newness. And it's gonna be thrilling and it's gonna be so exciting. And I 100% wanna be there for you in doing that. I coach you on how to show up on camera to use video marketing effectively in your business in a way that's authentic and grounded and genuine of your gifts and your service and your value and the ways that you can show up and share for your people. So it's going to be powerful and amazing and brilliant and we're going to have so much opportunity that's going to come after some of this healing. But I definitely understand where let's maybe take this beat, maybe maybe this week or two to just kind of be and allow ourselves some rest. You know, I want to spend this time to catch up on the movies I want to watch, to watch TV. I have like three books that I've been reading like 10 minutes a day of that. I'm like, I want to finish. I want to finish the books. I want to play chess when my head clears up. <laughs> I could maybe have a chance of winning. Like... I want to use this time to have some rest and some play and just some simplicity and taking a step back and just really going into the slower moments of joy. But then you better believe that that like that that need for creation. I'm a creator and I'm thinking you are too. That that need to create something to to do something that you're proud of that feels amazing is going to kick in. It's going to kick in hard. So I'm going to just be postponing. I'm just going to delay the release of my video training series by about a week, maybe two. We'll see how things go, see how things progress, because I want to be there for you. I want to support you in this. I want to help make it easier for you. Because all of those fears around being seen or, for, or, or finally stepping in on the business idea that you had are going to need to go to the wayside because... <clears throat> our fears right now about about safety and restructuring our routine and our supplies and things like that that move back to the basics that's all your ego has space for so the rest of these fears can just can just go by the wayside and that you know that when you start to get some of the basics in place this is no longer an excuse for you where it's time to go all in 
it is time to to make sure that you're setting yourself up for the next five years to be whatever the economic climate is to be able to thrive to be able to serve people to be able to offer value and share your gifts in a way that's going to provide the most benefit for them and take care of you and your family so I'm extremely passionate about this, but I do believe that it's good to have some time of rest before maybe we're diving all in and using the time to be the most productive as possible. Take some of that downtime first. So what I'm doing right now to help just spread the love and healing is I'm taking one of my, my one of my paid meditation audio packs and I'm gonna share it with you guys for free. So I'll drop in, uh, we'll create a, a code so that you guys can type that in and just get these meditation audios completely free so that you'll have access to those. And then the video training series, video two will, will be released probably next week, the second week, two weeks from now at the latest. Again, we're gonna see how everything goes. But as we're all dealing with this new uh, quarantine and lockdown situation, let's not isolate ourselves from each other digitally. So stay in communication, share some things that don't have to do anything with the virus. I'm not, you know, or I think we're all going to get tired of that at some point here soon, where we're going to want the regular training. We're going to want regular information. We're going to want uplifting fun things that, that shows just the joy of how awesome humanity really is and how we can continue to share and lift each other up with our gifts and see all of the brilliant and beautiful opportunities that can come from such a challenging situation. So I want everyone to stay safe, to stay healthy. If you're feeling under the weather like me, take this time for sure to rest, go take a nap, have lots of tea, do all of the immunity boosting things and take care of yourselves and your families and we'll see you soon.